So I must have to use my powers to get across the bridge. Fire, water, nature, art, ice, darkness. Ice? Ice. Ice must be the dead fey. Nothing happens. It's gone. Fire? Mm. Master, is that you? I can hear you, kind of. Where are you? Jordan, how are you doing? Fine, Master. A bit lonely, but fine. There are lots of people here. People like me. I don't understand the language yet, but I'm learning. How... how are you doing? You sound different. This is different. Unexpected. I didn't think we get closure. This actually changes the decision a little bit because you do get closure if you choose this path and you kind of find out that he is meeting people. You know, he's got to learn a language and everything, but he's immortal and he doesn't seem that bothered. Huh. Well, now I, feel, now I feel better about the choice. <laughs> I'm not anyone's master, Jordan. Please don't call me that. Old habits die hard, master. Even in this place. I've learned... a lot. A lot about myself. I'm not human. We always suspected that, Master, but we were all too chicken to ask. But still, I'm happy for you. It looks like we're both figuring things out. It's really funny to hear a, a, a fire elemental hovering and screaming in the air to say words like chicken. <laughs> I need your help, Jordan. Can I summon you here? You mean, transfer me across the void again? It wasn't a pleasant experience, but I do owe you for helping me. So yes, I'll help you. Just the once. What do you need? Can you help us cross this bridge? I don't see how. I'm made of flame. I can't carry any of you. Sorry. Goodbye for now, Jordan. It's good to talk to you. Same here, Master. You take care of yourself. Water. I guess nature is the most logical thing because you can get the tendrils crossing the bridge. I kind of want to just talk to everyone, though, if, if they are available. Focus on water. Well, she's dead, right? No. Oh, it's him. Summoner. You contact me across the void. I am in the middle of battle. You are distracting me. Speak quickly. Ha. Ah, right. It's not about the woman who killed herself. It's the general, so I still have access to water. How goes the war? It continues. I must hurry back to it. Tell me what you want of me. How are you always at war? Consistent. Sorry to disturb you again, general. Hmm. You sound sincere. In fact, I'd say you sound different. I've learned I'm not exactly human. It's complicated. Of course you are not human. You bested me and showed compassion and mercy when I deserved neither. Now, what do you want of me? We could use your help, General. Could I summon you here? My help? I suppose I owe you a boon. In exchange for sparing my life, what do you want of me? And be quick. Do you help us across this bridge? I can do this. Oh, Jesus, not this guy again. I have no quarrel with you, nor any of your kind. I can carry your group across the gap. Now hurry, my army needs me. It is done. Now I consider my debt paid. Goodbye, Summoner. Do not contact me again. All this work because we can't just get a running start and jump this gap. Which admittedly, I think we could make. I think if you laid my character down, he would cross that. So... I think most people can probably cross, uh, with a running start, cr jump a gap that's about their height, maybe. I guess the girder didn't pan out. Hmm. I probably could have solved the puzzle else in a different way. How, though? 
Vicky can shoot the girder down. Mondana might have been able to make the jump and push it across. Ah, that might have been it. Mondana's athletic enough that she probably could have made the jump and then pushed the girder somehow. <laughs> with her amazing muscles, apparently. I think that's gotta be unpushable, right? And then there would be a bridge we could cross? Maybe. Whew, glad to be on solid ground again. Not, not that anything in this place can be called solid. Where are we anyway? The map says you are here. That doesn't answer my question. Where is here? That is what we must find out. I may have been a bit reckless using my power. It's a, it's a resource you seem to run out of, so I should probably be a little bit worried. That said, I, may, I made a save right at the beginning of this zone, so if I get myself in trouble, uh, well, we should still be okay. You can't make heads or tails of this map. Thanks. All right. A maze of streets heads in that direction. That might be the only option we can go. We can go back. Everything's boarded up. Did anyone live here? Doubtful. This was created for appearances. As for why and to what purpose, I do not know. I've at least two directions I can go in? Look at this place. It's like a ghost town. Come on. Really? Uh, right. Sorry, KK. Um, how do we end up back here? I don't remember doubling back. No. We most definitely did not. Hmm. Not for nothing, but didn't we pass that building already? Oh, that doesn't make sense. Okay. I was thinking it was going to be like the Lost Woods. That age-old Lost Woods puzzle that's used in so many games where you have to sort of memorize the sequence. But this is not where I ended up when I left the first screen last time. The boards were on this side, at the very least. Or there was a crosswalk and everything, I remember. Huh. Doesn't this all look a bit familiar? Yep. And we're back. Either somebody needs to figure this place out, or I need to summon someone who can guide us through here, perhaps? Might even be Art, so that might be the answer here. Um... Sorry, I... Yeah, I'm not... I fail to see... Just seeing if y'all have answers for me. Sorry, I have... Yeah, I... Um... I fail... Nope. The water should do nothing. We had a bargain, Summoner. Cease contacting me. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's. Uh, I want. I kind of wanted to go away and clean up my list. Nature. Melkarissa, is that you? It's not enough you keep me trapped in this tiny grove, but now you taunt me in my mind. Yes, it is Melkarissa. That's my name. You discovered the truth, did you? You're better off. Being human is overrated. I am still more human than you are. You say that like it's a bad thing. Now, did you want something, or did you just want to gloat? I don't want to speak to you any longer than I have to. Then why speak to me at all? Make it quick. We could use your help, Galene. I could summon you here briefly. You're... you're joking, right? You must be desperate. What in the name of the Holy Green do you need my help for? We're lost. 
Can you help us find our way? I've found that lost is a natural state of mind for most humans. And have you forgotten? I am a creature of nature. Find me some earth or soil to stand on. Goodbye, Galene. Goodbye, and good riddance. Interesting. Interesting. This is a way to have all of your past decisions come up at the, in the climax in a really interesting, specific to point and click way. Oh, man. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, what Dragon Age Origins. You make a you make a series of choices in every region of the game. On every major mission, you make a choice between what's well, often one faction or another. There's often two factions that are at odds with each other, and you side with one or neither or both or something. And the end result is it affects who is available for you uh, when it comes to the big conflict the entire game is centered around. And so you kind of end up with like this customized, uh, this customized army with many, many permutations based on your choices you made throughout the game. And it's a, it's a relatively neat way to bring it all together at the end. And this is this is the, the adventure game equivalent of that. You made these choices over the course of the game, and that affects which characters are available to you at the end uh, to help you solve puzzles. Potentially, it's it's real specific to the genre. Messy fire, water, nature, art. Who's darkness? Oh. I am enjoying my respite at last. Why do you disturb me? Oh, you're all about knowledge. You actually might have a way out for us. Can I summon you here? I need your help. You showed me a kindness when you had no reason to. But in your world, I have no tangible form. I only exist in the world of the dead. I will be of no help to you. Oh. Yeah, so I, I guess they would be the darkness. I don't associate the... I guess it's because of the world of the dead or something. I don't associate the luck dragon with darkness. Still though, she's... she summons knowledge. So I, I almost kind of thought she'd be able to summon up a way out of this place. Like she'd be able to tell us something. <laughs> No, I'm guessing it's art. Yes. Of course. I owe you my life, and possibly my soul. What is it you need? We're a bit lost in some kind of maze. Can you help us? Someone created that maze, correct? Then I should be able to read it. Yes, I believe I can help you. Bring me over. This place. It's, it's strange, and yet it makes sense. There was a guiding force, a reason for it all. And what reason is that? This maze has no solution. It's a trap. A trap? Yes. Let me see here. Have you tried pressing that button? Button? What button? Ah, I see. This map was deliberately designed to hide the button. See? It's quite obvious when you know it's there. <laughs> this is almost, it's almost like a joke about adventure games. How on earth were we supposed to see that? You weren't supposed to see it at all. That was its purpose. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Prospect Park Writers Group begins in ten minutes, and they're expecting me. Well, hopefully it doesn't kill anybody. Try not to kill anybody, dude. <laughs> That's fun. I did try using all of them on that, so none of them would have seen it, I guess. I'm curious. I want to see that down that hallway. All the arrows point that way. That's neat. Oh, this is a fun climax. Also, that this is an impossible space. This is supposed to be a building right here. Like, look at the craziness of this place. That's, um, big. Not to mention cold. I should have packed a warmer jacket. Hmm. I can see where it'd be useful here to have access to your ice element. Oh well, I've got fire. Yes, master? You mean... So what? A giant ice gate is blocking our way. Can you melt it for us? You need something melted? Sure, I can do that. Easy. But, are you sure that's what you want me to do? I only want to do this once. 
Yes, please melt the ice skate. Is that all you need? Sure, Jordan. That's everything. I'd better be getting back. Good luck with, well, everything. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Why would I do that? I have a fire character. Although, what would Jordan do anyway? I don't know. Yeah, I save scummed. What of it? That was too stupid. What am I talking about? I have Eli. Why would I waste a character? Um, that gate is several feet thick. This is gonna be difficult. Difficult, but not impossible. No, not impossible. I can do it, but it'll drain me, like, a lot. But if there's no other way, well, just say the word. Ah, uh, no, we'll find another way. Okay. Whew. Never mind. Um, nope, not you. Never mind. The smart thing is to use fire guy. All right. So I was on the right path. It actually, it didn't take very, very long to, to backtrack because all I have to do is click through the dialogue real quick, which is most of the time. Yeah, I'd rather exhaust this character than my party member that I'm that I need to have not die. Ooh. What if that's what's going on? What if? What if? What if these characters are hel are helping me avoid exhausting my party members? And what if these party members, if they become exhausted, like Eli had the option of here, what if that would have caused them to, uh, hmm. Yeah. Then there might be a climax moment where it matters what state people are in. You know, Mass Effect 2 suicide mission. Uh, I wonder how I would have solved th these things without people, though. I had, I, was on, I had the beginnings of a solution for the first one. Not sh and Oh... And pushing the- if Montana jumped across and pushed the girder like I was thinking, that might exhaust her. And maybe you can exhaust Logan and KK by having KK scout out and solve the entire maze somehow? Huh. I don't know. I could find out, but I don't know. In his garage. Never thought to bring it along. These thorns would quickly make short of any mundane device. Yeah, and my dad would never let me hear the end of it. Probably better off. Anyway. That's not leaving emotional scars at all. This one seems straightforward. What is it now? Goodbye. I mean, I, I could check, but I'm guessing... This is Montana with her sword being like, it would exhaust me though. The thorns are fierce, but not invincible. With effort, I can cut a path through. You sure about that? Those thorns are pretty big. I can withstand the pain for a while. There's gotta be another way. Know that I prefer not to do this, but if there is no other option, well, I know my duty. Hold off, there's gotta be another way through. I... hope you're correct. I was gonna say, can you get that lantern to just burn it? But you can't bring the lantern down. Actually, can you burn these? Um, that's odd. Huh. Those thorns must have some kind of magical protection on them. My fire won't make a dent. Is this similar to the woodland in the village I basement? Yeah, exactly like that. They're even dropping hints about the character to summon now by mentioning her. Can you shoot the herbs? The herbs? Thorns? No, so, uh, yeah. First instinct. What is it now? We could use your help, Galeen. I could summon you here briefly. You're... You're... What in the... Our path is blocked by giant thorn hedges. Could you do something about them? <sighs> You're lucky I'm so damn bored or I'd tell you to go to hell. Fine, send me over. <laughs> Clumsy work. Engineered by force of will, not by the whims of nature. It will be my pleasure to destroy it. There. All taken care of. Now, if we're done, I'd prefer to get back to my grove. 
What a pleasant individual. Big, big fan. The way is now clear. Rock cave. You okay? No, Logan. I am not okay. We just accepted help from my father's murderer. But I must face the task at hand. I will deal with these feelings later. But hey, on the other hand, you're not exhausted, so we can face the task at hand? You want to go into this butthole cave? Sorry. Desperate times. Whoa. Huh? Who is it, Logan? My name... My name is Zack Tiller. Where is my muse? Where did she go? Oh, it's you. You have some nerve coming back here. I just wanted to put on a play. Just a stupid play. Did I deserve to die for that? Did you have to kill me for that? Like a dog with a bone, Vicky Santina. Like a damn dog with a bone. Oh, fuck no, not you two. Guys, listen. This is all... You just have to listen. Geist! They're going Geist! Stop them, Logan! I'm trying. Come on, guys. Just calm down. Calm down. That's interesting. So, guys, show up. First of all, this is an interesting location. Uh, you don't want to be this close to lava, probably. Not a good call, generally speaking. Uh, cool. Oh, there's so many permutations going on here that that's interesting. Okay, so no, no matter what, there will always be a ghost here, because one of the ghosts is from the artist chapter of the game. Uh, so the the, 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 art, the artist that died is here regardless, I believe. I think that's who that, who that person was? I don't know, there's a lot of characters to keep track of. But at least one character was from my actor origin story. I don't know if people die in the other origin stories or not. Possibly. So we have... I think we have one static ghost, one artist origin story ghost, or actor origin story ghost. And then we also have an additional ghost because we have the character who died. We had the character... We had the character who died during the, the water chapter. Whereas we don't have... The guy who kidnapped Eli's grandson is not here because he was a spirit. So when he died, he was destroyed as opposed to going ghost. But we have one ghost that's here because of story decisions, one ghost that's here because of the, the origin I chose, and one ghost that I think is always here. And, the obvi and very obviously, Logan can deal with this problem, uh, but it would probably exhaust him. But I've got a death dragon. when you had no reason to. But in your world, I have no tangible form. I only exist in the world of the dead. I will be of no help to you. We have a poltergeist problem. Can you help with that? Ah, corrupted spirits. Yes. I believe I can be of some assistance. Wait, what? What happened? Was that the dragon from Chinatown? Whatever he did, it did the trick. The ghost passed on. They're at peace. Nito. Nito. This place. First it freezes you, then it tries to roast you. Also, this entire chapter is like the textbook definition of the word contrived, basically. But I'm having fun with it. Uh, a river of lava is making this room almost unbearably hot. It is a little funny that the game is, uh... The game has been somewhat grounded up until now. I mean, as much as a fantasy story can be, uh, in its storytelling. But now we have, like, some next-level hilarious adventure game antics, uh... Like... The general, the general gamey setting and tone that uh, video games were more likely to have like two to three to four console generations ago. How can any of you help with this? 
Can Logan put out the fire? That lava is fluctuating between 1800 and 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't go near it. I have heard stories of the ancient fire pits of Jahannam. I imagine they look similar to this. I've been I've been missing out on dialogue, haven't I? Not sure which is worse. The lava, the giant thorn bushes, or the cave of crazy ghosts. Or maybe I should be more worried that this is my new normal now. Uh, this is a bit out of my wheelhouse. All right, Eli, can you do something? Lava is more earth than fire. But there is one thing I can do. I can pull the heat from it, solidify it, make a bridge. You don't sound so positive about that. Oh, I can do it, but the lava is moving. That makes the job exponentially harder. It's gonna take a lot of energy, probably all my energy. So if I do this, I'm gonna be tapped out completely. It's your call. Should I do this or not? We'll find another way. Okay. Uh, well, we can't shoot the lava. And Donna, I don't know what the hell you would do. Am I running out of options at this point? We've used nature, water, ah, shit, no, we've used fire already. Have I used everyone already? I used art in the maze, I used nature in the briars, I used, I used water to get across the bridge. I used fire to get rid of the gate. Yeah. This is where it comes in about how... Yeah. Okay. I think Eli's... I could try the fire again to see if he'll do it, but I don't think he will. That's like the point. Please, Master, don't contact me anymore. I need to forget my old life. Talking to you hurts. Yeah, we're done with them. I've used every single option I have. Yeah. Oops. Please, not now. I am occupied. His reasoning's a little silly. <laughs> Everyone else has like a lot of reasons for to not talk to me anymore. One of them's fighting a war and owes me nothing. One of them hates me. One of them's tormented. The other one's like, I'm at a writer's club. Excuse me? <laughs> uh, no. Here we're suffering the consequences of killing the person who threatened Eli's family. And so Eli is going to have to... Eli is going to have to drain himself as a, as a result of having killed that person. Uh, I, I'm sure he would agree it was worth it. Because he threatened to attack his family. Right. You're sure. Absolutely sure. I'm sorry, Eli. I don't think we have much of a choice. I thought as much. Here I go. Mm. Come on! I'm... Are you all... I'm... Fine. Huh. Easier than I... Jesus, are you okay? Who? Me? I'm fine. Liar. Okay. I just used up a bit more than I should have. Need to recharge. Go on. I'll just wait here. Okay, so we've lost Eli then. Okay, Eli, get away from the fire. <laughs> you were way... I, I guess it doesn't bother him, but... It's distressing. Like, when he when he fell, I'm like, oh my god, he's gonna fall in the lava. Like, why is nobody catching him? I was like, what's wrong with you guys? But yeah, here's what happens, is that you make life or death decisions about a bunch of different characters over the course of the game, and then they all have a scenario where they can help your party here, otherwise you have to do something else and suffer the consequences. I... I, I assume the fire guy could deal with this. Or if I... I don't know, they might be interchangeable. I think that if we had ice power, the, they, they might have been able to destroy the ice over uh, Gate, and then the fire guy would have been able to sap the heat from here instead of Eli. Or the opposite, maybe the fire guy m melts the gate, but if the ice guy's alive, then the ice guy can take care of this fire bridge and all. But that guy was relentless. Even after being defeated and stopped and so on, he still 
was threatening and it's like okay you have a problem and we need to we need to take care of you because you're you are voicing intent just go on I'll, I'll be fine the heat doesn't bother me might as well be at the North Pole <laughs> It was what happened with us. Uh, I think Eli would would do it again, regardless. But I can definitely see the idea of like, when you get to whatever the final confrontation is or what, or whatever this leads to, you could be out of party members. We would have lost Logan at the Ghosts. We would have lost Mondana. Uh, I'm not super sure about Mondana and Vicky. Logan and Eli have really explicit powers, and Mondana and Vicky have a slightly more confusing role to play in the party. Mondana is, like, usually athletic in her puzzles implementation, and Vicky shoots things, I guess, is the thing. That's usually what they do, more or less, I guess. It's just, uh, it's just a little bit more uh, harder to quantify than person who talks with, with ghosts and person who burns things as far as puzzle solutions go. 